Assalamualaikum, welcome to Farm and Farm. Today we will discuss most commonly asked interview questions related to the dry ground relation. And if you have not subscribed my channel, first of all, press the subscribe button. So let's start our video. First question is that what is the dry granulation? Dry granulation is the type of granulation where we convert fine powders into granules by the application of pressure. Next question is that what is the difference between wet granulation and dry granulation? The basic difference between wet granulation and dry granulation is that in dry granulation, we convert fine powders into granules by the application of pressure. And in wet granulation, we convert fine powders into granules by adding the solvent or binder solution. If you want to learn more differences between wet and dry granulation, the link of detailed video is given in description. Must watch the video. Next question is that for which products we use the dry granulation method? For those products which are degraded by the moisture and heat, we use the dry granulation method. In simple words, heat sensitive and moisture sensitive products are manufactured by the dry granulation method. Next question is that how granules are formed in the dry granulation method? It is a very confusing question and when it is asked, many students give the answer like we only sieve the powders as we do not add solvent in the dry granulation so simply we sieve the powders to form the granules but it is the wrong answer to form granules in the dry granulation method as we discussed previously we use the pressure mean we apply pressure on the powders to convert them into slugs or powder sheets and then later on these slugs or powder sheets are screened and are converted into the granules Next question is that what are the steps of dry granulation? Steps of dry granulation are first step is the weighing, second step is the saving, third step is the mixing, fourth step is the application of pressure. In application of pressure, we can use slugging method or by the chilsonation method or roller compactor method. Next step is the breakdown or screening of the slugs or the powder sheets and the last step is the final blending. Next question is that what are the other names of the dry granulation? Other names of dry granulation are the double compression method or the slugging method. The next question is that why dry granulation is known as double compression method? We call it double compression method because we use compression two times in the dry granulation method. One time compression is during the slugging method and second time compression is during the actual compression of our product. Next question is that which equipments are used in the dry granulation method? The name of equipment used for dry granulation method are the oscillating granulator or Russell sifter for the saving purpose. Next one is the any type of the blender like bin blender or double cone blender for the mixing purpose and then compression machine for the slugging method and roller compactor or chilsonator for the compression of powder into powder sheets and then the oscillating granulator or any cutting mill for the screening of the slugs or the powder sheets and then again for the final blending we use the blender like double cone blender. Next question is that what are the advancement in dry granulation? The advancement in dry granulation is the application of pneumatic system. Mean when we use roller compaction system for the dry granulation, we apply pneumatic system in the roller compactor to collect all the fine powder. And then this fine powder is again compressed into the powder sheets to improve the granules quality and to reduce the ratio of fine. So it was all about the most commonly asked interview questions related to the dry granulation. Do visit my website farmandform.com and also subscribe my channel, share it to others. Till the next video, Allah Hafiz.